is alive. Look at the cute little faces they put on those mushrooms. <laughs> are going to start an adventure and grow our own blue oyster mushrooms. I am going to pop into this box and water it really, really well and see what happens. It says five to seven days we should already have mushrooms. And that seems too good to be true. It also says two to five more times after our first harvest, we should be able to harvest more. So, we are going to try it and see what happens. I'm kind of excited. Cannot wait to taste these. I've never had blue oysters. We'll see what happens. Easy life! Look at the cute little faces they put on those mushrooms. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not having much success getting this open. I'm following instructions, and it says perforated square. There is not a perforated square up here. So I'm going to make my own, see what we can see on the inside. <laughs> Look at that. It's um, squishy. All right, so they say I need to cut an X into the plastic here. And then they gave us this cute little spray bottle that we're supposed to pump it eight to ten times, three times a day. I'm little concerned that that's not going to be enough because we are so dry. Mm. Having it in the kitchen, it's cold. Well, that's true. They're a Colorado-based company. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm just wary. Um, we planted the mycelium log in the backyard that the neighbors had given us, and I still see nothing there. So. <laughs> he, yeah, he did say it could take a while. But, all right, so I'm going to cut it open and see. Okay, so there is a scent. Um, and I can't tell if it's just the sawdust. You should put your nose over here. See what you smell. I think it's the sawdust with, it just kind of smells moist. It's not bad. Do you smell it? Yeah, it just smells like wet shaving. Yeah, but not bad wet. So, I don't know, it's cool. This is, I think them starting right there. So I have to water them. The cool thing is that, uh, we had this in front of the swamp cooler because it says if you're not ready to start them right away, keep them in a cool place, which that kitchen is wicked cold with the swamp cooler. So they should be good to go. So it's kind of neat. It has the steps. Okay, so butter knife to pop out perforated square with bologna. Um, <laughs> use a clean, sharp knife to slice an X in the bag. Check. Um, cut away the triangles. Oh, I haven't done that yet. To have a clean hole, exposing the mycelium to fresh air and light. It's okay if you cut into the mycelium. Then it says, place your box in indirect sunlight in a room lit at least four hours a day. That is going to be a piece of cake because the kitchen is super bright. Um, they said next to the sink is great because there's extra humidity. Mist it two to three times a day, at least eight to ten pumps until you see baby mushrooms or pins. This should happen within one to two weeks. Once the pins are formed, mist the air next to the block two to three times a day. Avoid misting the fruits directly. Okay, good to know. Once the pins are formed, you will notice much smaller ones that have not matured. Pick these off with clean hands to send more energy into the growing mushrooms. Your mushrooms will be harvest, ready to harvest in five to seven days after the pins have formed. Harvest when the caps start to flatten out before they turn up. Harvest by gently grabbing the base of the stem and peel away from the block with clean hands. Also pick any remaining small pins. These are too small to enjoy and need to be removed to make room for your next harvest. 
refer to the safe handling instructions on how you store your mushrooms if you do not eat them right away. You may continue the growing process two to five more times after your first harvest. It is important to continue to mist as directed in step two directly over the harvest. Oyster mushrooms are 85% moisture and need a lot of water to grow. We advise you to soak your block between each harvest, especially in the winter and drier climates. See our instructions under tips on our website. After the first harvest, the block may be susceptible to contamination. If you see mold growing on your block, it's time to get a refill. After aging your spent block outside, oh yeah, after aging your spent block outside for six months, it makes amazing fertilizer for any garden. Okay, well, good to know, Megan. All right, tips for success. There are videos that we can go to at megansmushrooms.com. You can make a humidity dome for your mushroom to help them grow larger. Hmm. Using a plastic bag, cut many holes in the bags and tent it over the block using garden stakes. Place the bag and the stakes so that the bag sits 5 to 8 inches above the block to provide adequate airflow. Miss the inside of the bag instead of the mushroom block. If at any point you notice the block looking dry or cracking, you can soak the block in distilled water in a large bowl. Put the cut side of the bag down and place something on the block to weigh it down and keep it submerged. After 24 hours, dry the outside of the bag and return it to its box. Resume misting. Normal mycelium is white and wispy. The mold you are watching out for will typically not be white, but green or black. It is white. It is the white... It, If it is white, it is most likely the healthy mushroom mycelium preparing for your next harvest. If you are not sure, contact us with a picture. All right. Nothing, nothing. All right. Eat alive. This box contains live mush mushroom mycelium. It was specially prepared to ensure your harvests are successful. Mm -hmm. They are ready to grow now. If you are not ready to start them, place this in the fridge or a cold garage for two weeks. If you are not able to start growing for more than two weeks, you can purchase the kit now and arrange for delivery when you are ready. Thank you. All right, so we got this on Saturday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five days. Okay, so we're still good. And it was in the cold room. So we should be set for success. I like the little brain in there. I want to pet it. Pet, pet, pet. Oh, oh, come pet it. You have to pet it. Is that actually the mushroom? Right here. Touch it. It's cold and wet. <laughs> Hi, babies. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, Megan. We're going to do this. The first one, the first one is going to be named Murphy. The first mushroom is Murphy, okay? <laughs> I will eat Murphy. <laughs> because Murphy is supposed to taste like bacon. <laughs> Alright, so I will uh, cut the triangles off and we will get it misted and set up. I think I do want to tent it. I'll point, put um, stakes in these corners here and then tent a garbage bag over it. And then uh, we'll see what happens. It's kind of exciting. We're doing it. We're growing mushrooms. <laughs>